Everyone knows you gotta be in the right place at the right time. For Martha Reeves, that started even as an infant. In 1942, her family moved from Alabama to Detroit, Michigan. Growing up in that place at that time changed not only her life, but the course of Motown forever. The Reeves family was musical and often performed at the Detroit Metropolitan Church her grandfather pastored. When she was three, she won a church talent contest. She always credited this event as getting her hooked on pleasing a crowd with her voice. Her love of gospel music eventually evolved into a love of R&B and doo-wop. Martha and some school friends started a group called the Delphi's and caught the ear of Motown A&R director Mickey Stevenson. He gave her a business card and suggested she audition. She showed up the next day without an appointment. He was busy and couldn't listen to her, but he did ask if she could answer some phones while she waited. She did such great work that it turned into a job as Stevenson's secretary. Being at Motown's Hitsville, USA studio was the opportunity she needed. When a singer didn't show up for her recording session, Martha called up her girls and filled in. This led to the trio recording backup vocals for Marvin Gaye. Motown head Barry Gordy was so impressed, he signed the girls and Martha and the Vandellas was born. They came up with the name Martha and the Vandellas because Martha lived on Van Dyke Street and she was a huge fan of the vocalist Della Reese. The group recorded many hit songs, including Heat Wave and Come and Get These Memories in 1963, followed by their biggest hit the following year, co-written with Marvin Gaye, Dancing in the Street. In 1965, they released Nowhere to Run. The group performed together for over a decade, and then Martha set out on her own as a solo artist in 1974.
In later years, she performed on Broadway in Ain't Misbehavin' and was part of the Super Bowl halftime show in 1998. Martha Reeves and the Vandellas were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1995. She was inducted as a solo artist to the Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame in 2015. Being in the right place at the right time certainly opened up doors for Martha Reeves, but her sultry voice, warm smile, and hard work did the rest. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below and click to subscribe to our channel. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next video of a music legend.